Hey everyone, and welcome to a video on how to use the Rap Assassin. Today we're going to try to look at all the reasons I think this is the best scout melee weapon. You can see it's really easy to pound your enemies with this cardboard tube. But wait, pause for a second. Do you see what I did wrong there? Yeah, that's right. I didn't taunt. Whenever you get a tube kill, you have to taunt. Always. This thing is clearly awesome. Maybe we can make it viable with crits, right? Okay, fine. So, it's pretty clear that you're not supposed to go around hitting your enemies in the face with this thing. But, there's more to it. So, let's go over the bobble. The Rap Assassin lets you throw a Christmas Ornament Projectile, which, on hit, will do impact damage and then bleed damage to your opponent. The swing does a measly 12 damage per hit, or 37 on a crit, which is only 2 more damage than the stock bat. So, maybe we found a reason why this didn't work. On impact, I found the bobble will do somewhere between 23 and 45 damage at random. The bobble will then inflict bleed damage, doing 36 damage over 9 ticks. That's 4 damage every half second. This should mean that the Rap Assassin can do 59 to 81 damage. On a slight miss, the projectile will do somewhere between 4 and 13 damage according to the wiki, but for my use in pubs, I almost always get a 4 damage on the miss. And while we are testing, the best we could do is a 7 damage. Watch this, watch this 13 incoming. Easy 7, easy 6, easy 67. On an actual miss, the bobble will shatter on any non-player surface, or technically, in the air after it hasn't hit anything for too long. When the bobble shatters right next to you, it'll do a couple health and self damage, which you can use to be a pest and steal health packs out from under your teammates noses. Yeah, me too. No way you steal that and I die. There's no fucking way you do that. That's so crap. Something that isn't listed in the weapon's game stats is the guaranteed crit at distance. This hidden stat is actually a secret known only by the old scout gods, or maybe to those who read the wiki like I did. If you land a direct hit from 1,408 hammer units, the impact damage, not the bleed, will be a critical hit. Uh, I'll just be standing on the edge. Nope. Alright, I'm scooting back, like, what? I'm so much better. That was a crit. Oh, that works, awesome. though. That is the crit. That's the crit distance. Nice. Yeah, that was a crit. Yeah. Died back here. Noob with a, with a U with two dots. Hello right. again! Good work, Oliver. Fucking <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's obvious that giving Scout a projectile can be very powerful, but how do you actually use it effectively? The Rap Assassin will let you play more safely, more confidently choose and win your 1v1s, and do some things that you normally can't with the stock loadout. Many points I'll touch on here aren't really unique to the Rap Assassin bobble, so if you play other projectile classes, hopefully this will click. I would also like to point out that most of what I say in this video about the bobble in some form could be said about the flying guillotine as well. And while the guillotine is stronger in many ways, the Rap Assassin lets you have some of the power of the guillotine without forfeiting your secondary slot, which allows for a more diverse range of gameplay styles. I hope it's clear to all of you that it's not a wise idea to run around using your melee as scout. It's almost always a bad idea to try to use your melee, or even enter your enemy's melee range. Because remember, Taking a hit will chunk half your health and you'll immediately lose your 1v1 advantage and now be significantly easier to kill. So the Rap Assassin's main downside can be negligible, if not a good habit trainer. Here I accidentally back myself into a corner which allows me to take a pan to the face, but thankfully the scattergun's knockback saves me. The bobble is on a cooldown time of 7.5 seconds, which means you should be throwing this thing whenever you can as long as you're not putting yourself in danger by not having your scattergun out. 
It'll be back and ready to throw again soon enough, so really, you can consider it disposable. If you're running away and know you're being chased, ducking behind a corner is a great way to get out of the way of spam and to send a Christmas ornament down your opponent's throat. Here I go a little too deep, so when I eat a meat shot and see four players chasing me, I retreat down the hallway back to the cart and send the bobble flying. The pyro walks into it, which hopefully scared him away from the engagement and ensures my safety. In this clip, when I see that the engineer has frontier justice crits, I throw the bobble and try to get behind a corner so I can let the bleed damage finish him off. In this clip, despite the fact that I die to the soldier, I do enough damage to the sniper that the bleed kills him even after he's reached the safety of his own spawn room. People love to move in straight lines when they run away from you, so you can use this to your advantage to land your bobble shot. Watch out for that other demo you got him around the corner? Yeah. With the clip. And sometimes, even though you'd kill them anyway, it's fun to just try to hit it. Thanks to the impact damage of the bobble, you can pair the Rap Assassin with a solid meat shot to instantly combo light classes. If you fire your projectile first and then switch to your hitscan, getting the timing right will basically one-shot them. The class that the combo is most useful on is Sniper, since the bleed damage also inflicts aim punch, making it harder for him to hit you while scoped in. Yeah, I'll do a cool strafe and everything. Whoa! Bing! This usually allows the scout to close the distance gap for free, depending on a couple of things, such as the sniper's secondary weapon, or if he's just a god at the game. In this clip, I hit the sniper with the bauble through the window, and it allows me to more confidently take the 1v1 when I run up to him later. Or, even if you don't plan on engaging, the bauble is still a great way to send him back to a health pack, or better yet, the spawn room. Just like flames, bleed damage will reveal invisible spies. And this clip doesn't do a great job at showing what makes the rap assassin useful with dealing with spies, but it's just too good not to include. When you're able to open up the engagement by hitting your enemy with the bobble, you're basically guaranteeing yourself about 60 damage over time, so you can use your upper hand to focus more on dodging and staying out of harm's way. Here, I know the pyro is going to chase me around this corner, so I hit him with the bobble and then back up to stay out of the way of his flames. My shots were doing less damage at distance, but the bleed is still chunking away. There are a lot of instances when there's an obstacle between you and your opponent, so using the arc of the bobble, you can get a hit when you otherwise wouldn't. It's like getting to spam one very weak grenade as demo man. Scout does not excel taking big groups on solo but it can be really easy to land a rap assassin bobble on a team sitting on the cart. Really, the only other thing that I can think of is that if you're in the back lines and you toss the rap assassin forward and you hear a random hit sound, you have a pretty good idea where at least one player is. But other than that, I think we've covered everything. All oh, right, the rap assassin won't stop a charging demo man, but you can take a troll drew out of the skies with it. Alright, so that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new or have a better understanding of how to use the Rap Assassin. Thanks to COG for helping me test and gather clips. And like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll catch you sometime soon in the next video.